anyway, we went to the nearest bank here. We struck a deal for a 2010 Coleman camper. I gotta go withdraw 10,000 in cash so I can go get it and bring it home today. So we're here in Delaware, Wilmington, Delaware is the nearest bank I could find. So we're gonna go inside and get some cash. That was a little bit exciting there, I don't know. Down here in the city, and we went to the bank. We had to make a withdrawal to buy our camper. So uh, we got that done. We're headed back to the camper place now. I got the money here. $10,000 and $100 bills. Let's see if I can get the rubber band off there. Might as well take a look at that. One hundred, one hundred dollar bills. So now we can go pay for our camper. We're gonna pick up a couple other things there. We'll see how much of it we can film there at the camper place. But we're gonna go traveling with this, so we're gonna film everything around the country, east coast to west coast. So. Uh, there should be a little bit to see upcoming in the next year on our video. We're going to try to drop a new video every week, at least one. But more about that later. bought the new camper and uh, had a little mishap. We must have got a blowout or a flat and I didn't notice it. Um, somebody flagged me over so I pulled over and we got a flat. I called AAA a few times and to my knowledge I always had the RV Premier Platinum. Um, they told me I didn't have it since 2011. So I upgraded my plan, but naturally it don't take effect for a week. I called three times, and three times they called me road service to come out and change this flat tire. I have a good spare. I have the jack in my car that's capable of lifting that axle to change the tire. I don't have a lug wrench. Well, AAA finally sent somebody and they called me back and said they don't have the equipment to change a flat tire. I wished I knew their name, but I don't have it in front of me right here. Maybe I'll put it in the comments later. Uh, how can you run a roadside assistance service where you come out and help people that are stranded without being able to change a flat tire? So, little Jim Country Broy brought it to my attention that They whacked us for this good SAM roadside assistance program. Um, and, uh, you know, it's one of them things they pad the bill on you. They make you think you're getting it for free. Um, there's an invoice here somewhere where it's $900 or something for four years or something. I'm good to 2024. But anyway, um, I called them and naturally I'm not in the system because I just bought this a few hours ago. But the gentleman on the phone was very sympathetic and very helpful. And uh, he got into the computer there, took all my information down and my membership number. Basically, he forced the computer, he bypassed it and updated the system and sent us road service. And he said, with inside of 30 minutes, road service will be here. Um, 
I guess we've been waiting like 22 minutes so far, 23 minutes, so we'll see what happens when this guy comes. But I, we got a trailer with a spare, but dumb luck we got a flat. Who knows? Maybe the tire was bad, something I didn't see in the road, a piece of glass, a nail, I don't know. It doesn't matter at this point. We just need somebody to come and fix the tire. I, I tried Google to see if there was anything close where I could milk it down the road and get a lug wrench or unhook it and run out and get a lug wrench and come back. But there's nothing real close. And we're on the uh, blue route here, Pennsylvania Turnpike, 476 North. So it's not a good place to be playing around anyway here. So uh, you can see the car is whipping by. The law says they got to slow down by 15 miles an hour under the speed limit and go over to the middle lane away from the slow lane when there's a stopped vehicle or an emergency vehicle. But not one of these idiots cares if they kill you. They just fly, flying by. So anyway, I'm rambling now. We'll wait now and then we'll start filming again when some action happens. You're welcome. Oh, we're rolling. Yeah, we call every rolling. service, every roadside tire service in a 300 mile radius of Philadelphia and King of Prussia, and they won't come out because they can't change a tire, but they do roadside tire. Get it straight, Villanova. Villanova, yeah. And that so called Sam's, they soaked me for a four year contract for three years, for uh, three or four years for. Uh, 995 hours they squeezed in with the contract, won't even come and help. And Trip Y screwed me, won't send nobody to come neither. So as an Uber driver on the side, I called my bro here that works for Uber too. Nice man works for Uber. Took me to Walmart to get a jack and some tools. We'll just leave these in there. Where'd he go? I don't know. Why are you going back there? Throwing tools around. You guys are doing any rich white people areas? Oh, my bad, you are white. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> don't get over it. <laughs> I wish I was smart enough to get the sockets out of the package and I would have bought them. Get out of the road, Jimmy. That Villanova's close by, ain't they? Oh, it's summertime. Let's just say we get some college grads out here to show us how to do this. <laughs> yeah, they call a trip away. Yeah, <laughs> that boy basically was flight and told me where to go. Four or five phone calls. They can't even send somebody out here to pick me up. Oh, they Are we going to use this to jack it up? We no, no, it? we're using this. That's just to stabilize it when you park. Okay. They transfer us to the uh, police. <laughs> yeah, last time I called AAA, they transferred me to 911 dispatch. Wow. Meat wagon ain't gonna come out and fix my freaking car. You get the right side? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so how the fuck you wanna jack that up? I gotta go in there and jack it, but I gotta get them loose first or it'll just turn. Of course. Hey, caramba. I know what he's about to do. He's got a big bar in there. He's going to stick it in the tire. Okay, so why didn't we just do these? Because it's still going to want to move. It's going to spin on that then. There's no air in the tire to hold the weight. And there's a ratchet strap holding it up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. 
gotta give him a break something. Instead of pulling up, maybe you could step on it. I thought you had the longer bar. That's the biggest one you had. Look big in the store, didn't it? Yeah. <sighs> like they need to be that tight. Don't hit the pole. Wait, actually, if you hit the pole, I'll make the video funnier. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, you ain't got to worry about having no more kids. When the hemorrhoids come out, snip them off with the scissors. <laughs> oh, shit. Sometimes I think we don't need a jack. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> you ready? No. <laughs> come on. That he really didn't eat much all day. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Bring it in straight. A little more. Spinning it. Flip it around, maybe you could stomp on it quick. Here, let's switch. Let me try. Wait, no, no, hold on. I'm trying to think of something. Mm -hmm. Losing the plate. Too far in there. Now I got the car. Kid might be on to something. See if this works. Yeah. Nope. All right. Flip this way, see if I can lift this. Got it. Got it. Call Wonder Woman, she must have put them on there. Alright, that's good. Don't take them all the way off yet. I didn't want to tell him I wanted him to see for himself. <laughs> he could have said something, he said. I could have said something. Right. He wanted to be in this bit of money, not me. I'm oh, sorry, excuse the French. Hey, French. <laughs> Let's see how you're gonna lift this up. Jack! I know that.
grub. Nice. I wonder if that fix the flat stuff will fix this tire. <laughs> Maybe put a couple tire plugs in it. <laughs> Want to check the brake drums? Give me some flashlight here, quick. It's like a removable rubber plug. Oh, that guy's full of shit. What do you need to remove it for? Well, I'll check the grease and the bearings later. Right. I just wanted to see it. Now, is that a donut or is that a full size tire back there? No, it's a real trailer tire. Just don't have the aluminum alloy wheel. Cool. Where's that knife? Right here on the ground. See what I did is I jacked it up with my car jack. You can put a couple of ratchet straps on it to pull the pressure off the rim. And it's still spinning. Oh, you had to cut that off. Yeah. Because I broke and tightened them up. I bent the handles on the shoe. He was, pit, he was shaking the whole thing, tightening them things up. <laughs> Telling you, he's been up since like what, 3.30 this morning? Two. Two? Where y'all going to sleep? When are you going to sleep? When I get home. <laughs> How long of a ride is that? Uh, I don't know, I thought it was going to be a couple hours, but I think we're in at five hours now. Sitting <laughs> on the side of the road waiting, no goddamn road service wants to take my money. Except the one guy says, send me the money now, then I'll come. You said 70 50 dollars money order or something like that. Of course, sitting on the side of the road, where are you getting a money order from? Hopefully he's got enough there in it. Yeah, it feels like a brand new tire. Yes. Hopefully it's a good kind of brand new tire. Well, they sell them at Walmart and stuff, too. On the rim. Oh, really? Yeah. Why didn't we get a new one of those? Because it's money. <laughs> Can't find a hole. Yeah, I believe that. There. there it is. Can't turn it. All right. Is it spinning? There we go. Can I have my nuts back? <laughs> At least the ones that hold the wheel on. Here's two. Take it rest. Oh, you'll be back before dinner. No problem. Ooh. <laughs> That's what the guy told me down there. He said, hurry the fuck up all day. It's like they were stolen. Probably waiting for the tire to dry rot. <laughs> oh, shit. You seen that ad on Craigslist? Camper for sale. Bring your own tires. Now I know about them. Where's the tools, Jim? Right behind you. Yeah, this one here. Yeah, Facebook too with that big Jim Country boy. Gotcha. Move the ratchet. Go ahead. You gotta turn with that first before you do what you're about to do. Yeah, no, I can't. Trying to make time here so I don't jump all night. I'm good. He said he was going home until I called him. <laughs> Glad you didn't go home? Well, I was right down the street when y'all beat yeah. in, so I was like, hell with it. Just go over here, pick this person up.
I get the thing that says, uh, I'm right behind the uh, delivery. I'm like, pull up and like, I don't see nobody. Let me go around the front. Came back, I was like, all right. Then I seen him standing over. I was like, I know who I'm picking up. <laughs> Well, I guess that good karma came back to me helping that guy with the gas. Yes, that would I'm be me. About that. <laughs> that would be me. But I tell her she can't put these on hand tight, you gotta torque them when you get home. Every 25 miles, she said they come loose. The ones they put on here weren't coming <laughs> loose. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you just gotta do it slow. This was going in the camper. Right? Yes. This is the same jack I got at the house. I took everything out. Well, I got a big one, but it's like 90 pounds. Yeah. I yeah, that thing's heavy. Oh, no, that shit is heavy. I know what that one is. I have one of those at the house too. <laughs> it's one of those low profile ones you can put underneath the cars, but it'll jack up a big oh. F 350 if yeah. you gotta go. God damn it. Sitting on that wall it hurts. Make a note, take your wall out of your pocket before you sit in the street. <laughs> All right, we gonna tighten these up some more, or they're already tight? Which guns here? Ah. Oh. Better not turn now. They got these torque multipliers. You can undo those nuts like we had on here with your finger. Really? Yep. yep. You can bust them off too with your finger. What? Yep. Yeah, it's like 30 to 1 gear ratio. 22 to 1. It's like downshifting your car. So I'm guessing you just picked this up. Yeah, like yeah, 10 hours ago. No, it's, we yeah, left around 4. 10 a.m. appointment. <laughs> Camping world works very inefficiently, apparently. <laughs> Should have went to RV value market instead of Camping World or something. <laughs> Should have bought the ones from the, from the uh, insurance auction. Are we throwing this stuff in the back of the, the truck? Yes, yeah, man. Yep. Got the back open in the corner. Yep. Uh. Might as well put this on the back. Well, this here's our tire. We're gonna try to take it home, put a couple tire plugs in it. Nah, stop, Jim. We're gonna put new tire plugs. <laughs> Get them other bolts, then that can Where's the mother bolts at from the back? What are the Oh. Yeah. Where the fuck did they go? Who set them down? Wait, bring the light back over here. They here? Yeah, they should be over here. Hand me your lug wrench, boss. This one here. Yeah. That's what takes them on and off. I don't like the hole. Okay. Where's the nuts? This is going to work. I don't think this one's going to go on here. Uh, you got to turn it the other way. Can't. Oh, you can't because of that shit. Here, take this. 
That don't come off? That's what we were saying. Why don't you just throw it inside? Jim, I need my keys. Alright. I need my tool. Oh, yeah, here, boss. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Leon is my name. Leon, Jim, 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 Jim and Jim. Gentleman in the scholar. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm glad to help anybody out, you know. Stay in touch, buddy. Yes, sir. I'm going to hit you up on Facebook after that, too. Yeah. Do me a favor, be safe. Try, man. Post the video so I know you made it safe. Yeah, we'll know. We're good. All right, guys. Young Buck. Jim. Deuces! <laughs> Careful shutting that trunk all the time. Yeah. Um, don't assume it's going to clean. Yeah, I'm. If it's turned a little bit. It's going to hit. I'm watching. You got my soda? No. Where do I leave? I'll go look back here on the ground. I must have put it in that compartment. Fuck it. Let's go. Yep. All right. Well, we got the trailer going again. Um, that Sam's roadside assistance we got with the camper today supposedly called road service for us at 4, I'm sorry, 5.36 p.m. And, uh, they just called us back. I should have put the camera on, but I didn't. I just got off the phone with them at 9.15 p.m. Like four hours later, they finally were going to leave the shop to come and change the tire now for us. I won't have to tell you what I told them, but we got it. We went to Walmart, and we got it. We're going home. I should be home in an hour. So... Then we gotta see if the driveway is big enough. We'll go from there. Till then. Here. Sit down over there. My hands are full. Here, sit down over there on the books. Well, we got our camper home. This is going to be your home away from home. What? Your home away from home. I don't get it. Why are you saying this is going to be your home away from home? Your second home. Yeah. yeah. My boy is not coming. Wait. No, it's can't you said to wait. You can turn some lights on. You always can't find the lights in the camper on. No, I put it on. It's not working. You want me to go get my phone away? Oh, I don't got a No, your tablet was dead. And, my, and my tablet doesn't got a flashlight. Oh. I was going to say I can do like I do like I don't have a tablet. Wait. You got to wait. That's the drawing room. I can see the wedding room. Yeah. It's not that door. Watch your steps. She's more excited than I am. Go on. You gotta Watch. wait till you're up before I can. Watch your steps climbing in there. I got the door. Yep. 
you got to learn the switches are on the lights. you got to reach for the lights. It's a little awkward. You don't get used to it. Okay. What's well, so we have? They left them on the ash lights. What? Was that from? Yeah. 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 Listen, you can't get big baths like you do in the house because we don't, there ain't enough water. Yeah, you gotta be you know, quick. It's only a quick, tank. Quick. You'll drain the whole tank out. Be quick. Just like okay. you do when we were on vacation, remember? Not even. Look, you gotta get a shower. Okay. And wait. Oh, wow.